Hi and welcome to this video. I am Anis, a GMAT expert. I created this channel to help you ace the GMAT in the easiest way possible. In this channel, you will find strategies that are never shown elsewhere. These powerful strategies will help you solve difficult problems very quickly. I invite you to stay tuned till the end of this video. There is a special gift waiting for you. A certain list of 100 data has an average of 6 and a standard deviation of D. D is positive. So we have a list of 100 data. The average of this list is 6. So average equal to 6. And the standard deviation is equal to D. So standard deviation is equal to D. Okay. So which of the following pairs of data when added to the list must result in a list of 102 data with, with standard deviation less than D. So at the beginning we had 100 data. Now we have to add a pair of data. So the number of um, numbers in this list uh, is equal to 102. And I want that uh, the standard deviation become less than D when I add the two, uh, this, this pair of data. Okay. So before uh, analyzing this uh, question, let's begin with uh, explaining a bit the concept of a standard deviation. So what is a standard deviation? The standard deviation is a measure uh, that is used to uh, quantify the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of data values. A low standard deviation indicates that the data points tend to be close to the mean of the set while a high standard deviation indicates that the data points are spread out over a wider range of values. So if we have a set and the values are close uh, to the mean, that means uh, that results in a low standard deviation. And if the values are spread out over a wider range, that means uh, that results in a high standard deviation. Let's take two examples. For example, let's say set one is equal uh, contains those elements and set two here is set two zero five ten the mean in set one and in set two is equal to five but the values in uh, set one are close to the mean while the values uh, in set two are spread out over a wider range so the standard deviation in set 2 is greater than the standard deviation in set 1. Okay, so now we understood what is a standard deviation. So let's solve now the problem. Okay, so I need now to lower the standard deviation. So once I add the pairs of data, okay, uh, here, my aim is to lower the standard deviation. So I have to add the pairs of data that is the most close to the mean. Okay. So here is the answer E because I, I added two values to this list and those two values are equal to the mean. So are the most close to the mean. So when I add values closer to the mean, I am decreasing the standard deviation. So the answer to this question is clearly E. Thank you for watching this video. In order to help you ace the GMAT, I decided to offer you for free my ultimate GMAT probability course. You can find this course in the description of this video. Probability is one of the most important parts of the GMAT quant section. This part is very difficult and many students struggle with it. In this course, I will give you the best strategy to tackle any probability question and I will show you how to apply this strategy to more than 40 different practice questions. Once you finish this course, you will be able to solve any probability question that encounters you in the GMAT. 
First, I will introduce you to combinations, arrangements, and permutations. Then we'll solve together more than 40 GMAT questions of different level of difficulty, and I will show you step by step how to solve them in the simplest way possible. Once you master the methods I teach in this course, you'll be able, starting of tonight, to not only solve any GMAT probability problem, but also to solve them quickly, and this will help you save a lot of time during the test. Click on the link in the description to get this unique free course.